Now, I have to do this. Oh, I don't know what this is. It's a display. Oh. It's an exhibit. Sam, can you see me? Can you read it? Can you read that? Can you guys see that? Should I come closer? All right, why don't I read it for you, Sam? On, on, on August the 11th, Sam had the top voted question in the queue. August the 11th. There could have been a worse day for it, Sam, like August 17th, but eh, I digress. Is there a risk, and again, I'm trying to coach you through how not to pay for the process. If, Sam, you're going to pay for the process, please don't do the opposite of the process, okay? So Sam said, is there a risk that the market won't play out the way your models are predicting? I asked because the Dow is up 13% from its highs, which is wrong. It was from its lows. And at this rate, it will be testing all-time highs by month end. I appreciate the data is, is horrific. We all know this. But the price is telling us that the market has bottomed already. Sammy butts. Sammy butts. I'm calling this out because some people get really tilted when I take questions like this and I really say, really? After all these hours since 4.30 in the morning for 15 years doing this with great teammates and a process that's genuinely yours that you've adapted as your own within the context of the cycle, really? I mean, we don't want you to do that. Yesterday was an interesting day. Yesterday because, you know, when I sold some bear shit, uh, including um, Nary, N-A-R-I, profitless company that we're, we, we think is a short, or it has been a great short, uh, a cyclical short, night transport. I might get a lot of green on the screen. Doot, doot, doot. People are like, why do you hit more buttons? Well, because I have to get therapy. I can't do everything. So I go in. An hour later, the bottom falls out of the market. So I just looked at my phone while I'm walking in the parking lot. So this is where, I, instead of listening to the highway, which is what I typically listen to, country music fan, uh, I hit CNBC. Because I want to listen to the investment committee. <laughs> the, I, could, I couldn't believe it, actually. This guy, Brian Belsky. I mean, he's had more jobs than a used national car salesman, you know, from that brand. Like, that guy, like, really? That's the guy. So the judge, Wapner's like, you know, you're a stand-up guy, whatever. <laughs> Like, what are we really talking about? And then Stephanie Link is ranting garrulously about, like, free cash flow, great company. It's like, it's like dinosaurs. Like, dino like the most basic of dinosaurs are just lost. They're just completely lost. You got old Farmer Jim saying, well, my thesis. <laughs> Freaking thesis. And, he, and he, he found Belsky to be, you know what I love about you, uh, Brian, is that you're very thoughtful. It's like... How much money do you manage, uh, Leventhal? Like, uh, do you manage a buck? A million dollars? Like, at least manage a B before you tell somebody you're on an investment committee. I mean, come on. Stop it. You know, stop it. So, we're in overtime here. And th this show should really, this, those last three minutes should replace all the precious life and cycle time that you spend watching CNBC overtime. Or otherwise. I mean, that literally gives birth to this, to this bullshit, right? Yeah. And this is, this is the most important thing. This is upside down. You can take it anyone. You can take it and actually, can I rip it? This is what we need to do with those bad behaviors. Okay? We need to go like this. And if I had my cigar lighter, I would light it on fire and just. Hey there, Hedgeye Nation. Or if you're not part of Hedgeye Nation, thanks for watching Hedgeye on YouTube. If you haven't already, make sure to click on the button below there. Subscribe to our YouTube page. You can also follow the link in the description to our website to get even more great investing content.